it is a beautiful day here in the Inland Empire. Blue skies looking at me, nothing but blue skies do I see. Blue birds singing a song, nothing but blue birds all day long. Oh yeah, there's a strong enough wind blowing to make my wind chimes play music, but the sun is in all its glory. Yes, I was out there on my balcony this morning and not a cloud in the sky got the sun in my eyes and that won't be surprised if it's a dream. As I looked up at that Immaculate Conception Heaven, I smiled and took a deep breath of that cool, fresh air. That's why I was crumpled when the stores pulled all the menthol cigarettes off the shelf. I'm like, ooh-wee, what's up with that? What's up with that? No more Virginia Slim's menthol lights? That's my jam to my peanut butter, yo. So now I got these um, natural American spirit, classic mellow yellow. So um, I ordered some menthol crystals and eucalyptus essential oil from Amazon and they arrived yesterday. This is 100% Pure Mentha Arvenesis from India. And then this here is the Natural Bliss 100% Pure and Natural Eucalyptus Essential Oil that I'm using to carry the aroma and flavor of menthol. But I put some crystals inside my humidifier. Mmm, I love it. And drop some oil in this little compartment right there at the top. Oh yeah. It helps my chest congestion, sinus congestion. It just clears it out. I also put some crystals around my shower stall. And when you take a shower, when you take a hot shower, it's like vapor rub in there. Ah. <sighs> That aroma. My daughter Trinity Lauren Connolly, aka TLC, came up with a business venture to sell menthol cigarettes Shh, using natural ingredients such as these. And she said that she wants to call it Mother's Milk Menthol. <laughs> oh, yes. As I was saying, it's a lovely day. The mountains of the pines on the north end of BBH are still covered with snow and my pecan tree remains petrified with bare branches, but I sense that spring is very near. After all, according to Mongolia's nine nines of winter temperature chart, today is the last day of the eighth nine of winter. And tomorrow we begin the last nine days of winter. There is a Chinese folk song sung from ancient times starting on the winter solstice, December 22nd. They call it Dongji, which means winter extreme, to count the days of the nine nines of winter. That's 81 days. Nine times nine is 81. 81 days until spring from the winter solstice. So let me play that song for you real quick. Yeah, that's like the, the last part of it. I 
got this song on Facebook because when I looked up Nine Nines of Winter song, um, I found This Is Beijing is the name of the Facebook page and I found that song. So anyway, here at the top of the world, we are on the eighth nine of winter. The last few lines of that song, the lyrics translate to, in the eighth, we welcome the wild geese. Winter season end in the last nine days when blossoms and flowers smile in spring. So whether you are in Beijing or Timbuktu or Mongolia, we all feel the sting of spring during this time because we are one. Let's sing our theme song for 2023 to celebrate the marriage of science and spirituality and to make our presence known in the universe. Sing with me now and clap along to the beat of David's drum here in the northern half of the earth. We are seeing snow melting on the grass, right? So the grass is, is wet. So anyway, let's sing. melting on the grass and dampening the ground. Next week, warmer days will set in and on March 13, spring should begin. Let me take a sip of my wide awake coffee from Seattle from my Scion Emerald Green Tumbler. I have this artesano, artesano bread bread rolls this morning with my coffee is from Stater Brothers. They're really good toasted with some butter and cheese. Melted butter and cheese. So today the ruling energy is the heart chakra. According to current planets and stars chart for today, we are in Pisces season the season of deep spiritual exploration. Here is the zodiac symbol for Pisces. Two fish swimming together in the same circle, but in opposite directions. Fantasy and reality, the logical left brain and the visual right brain the feminine curves and the masculine straight edges, the yin yang, light and dark. Polar opposites that are two sides of the same coin. Our shadow self today feels sensitive. Our intuition is sharp and our psychic abilities heightened. We want to be home where we are safe in Mama Gaia's loving care, where we feel nurtured and pampered. At the same time, our minds are full of human, humanitarian ideas to make the world a better place. It's time to love ourselves more, and in turn, we can love others righteously with agape love, the love of God, who we love with all our heart, our soul, and our mind. Believe in love. Believe in God. Believe in yourself. Visualize to materialize. But it's time to stop the visualizing and start materializing. It's time to act on your visions, to make them real. 
Make a move forward. Experiment. Fear not. I go before you always, says the Lord. Move that thought energy to become your passion. Feel it as though you already have it. Speak it. Take the steps to achieve it. Faith without works is dead. So choose a path, any path, and from there you will be guided to the right path. The kingdom of God is within you. And he will show you the way and give you the words to say. Pick up your Bible and turn to Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. I will read it to you. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. God says that in the Bible. The heart chakra is called Anahata in Sanskrit, which means unbeaten. Unlike a drum, like David's drum here, that you have to beat something before it makes a sound, the heart is unstruck, unbeaten, unhurt. The heart feels love and compassion, mercy and forgiveness, empathy and sympathy all by itself. The emotions generated by the sacral chakra and the memories of past experiences stored in the solar plexus chakra are transformed by the anahata, the heart chakra. Fear and hate conquered by love unconditional love. Surround yourself with the color green today to energize the heart chakra. Wear green like me. I wrap my head in this iris scarf that my daughter TLC brought me back from her trip to Ireland a few years ago. Got my green makeup and nail polish on, my green jewelry. Most of these were inherited by me from my late mom, Ludi, Lourdes Peña Goko, who passed away in 2002. You see, the jade earrings and ring and bracelet set. And then this was her emerald ring surrounded by diamond studs that she was awarded for her 50th anniversary as pharmaceutical labeling director at International Medication Systems in South Almonte. Got my isolation bracelet from the COVID quarantine, quarantine days. And I also crocheted this leaf, leaf motif um, headband that I made into a choker today with this uh, crescent moon shape brooch that has green gems on it. And then this belt also is a leaf motif belt that I crocheted. Yeah. And then this green flower of life shawl that I learned from Karen's channel on YouTube. It's quite warm now, especially with my humidifier on because it's a hot humidifier. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna take it off so I can show you what I have underneath. I've got this mystical blouse underneath that shawl. And it shrinks to a baby size and expands to an adult size. I saved the tag to show you. You see? See how small it is before you put it on? That's how it was when he gave it to me. That's how it looked. I was like, that ain't gonna fit me for a baby but it stretches to whatever size you are see my late baby brother Alexis Peña Goko gave me that this uh, this blouse so magical when he was still here with us in this world I think he got this from when he worked at Kmart I think this is a Kmart item yeah anyway he passed away February 5th last year 
I miss him. R.I.P. Alex. Got my mandala for the sacral, solar plexus, and heart chakra on the wall there behind me. I crocheted that with Wizard of Loops on YouTube. And I also got my bowl of M&M peanuts. I'm picking out the green ones today. And eating them for the color of the heart chakra. Remember back in the 70s, excuse me, we used to feed on these green M&Ms because they said that they'd make us horny. I was like 15 years old at the time and I made sure I did not eat those green ones because I thought horny meant that you would grow horns. I was fresh off the boat back then. That's why I'm trying to master the El Monte accent. So anyway, back to topic. The heart chakra or the Anahata is the fourth chakra of our energy body, our core, our soul spirit, the real self, the true self, the one the being that inhabits this flesh and bone body okay so here on my chakra chart I arranged these Reiki stones that has the symbol for each of the seven chakras and I put I stuck them on here according to their positions to the chakra the positions of the chakras so there are seven primary chakras inside the body Chakras are spinning spheres of energy in our spine, in our core. These lower three right here, the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus chakras are for the physical aspect of human nature. And so I call this part our soul. Okay. And then the upper three chakras, the throat, the third eye, and the crown, are for the divine aspect of our human nature. So I call that our spirit. That's why when I say our soul spirit, I'm referring to that golden white beam of light that extends to the universe and down to earth. So anyway, in between the three lower chakras and the three upper chakras is the heart chakra, okay? This is where the energies generated by the low frequency, denser energies of the soul are vibrated to a higher level of consciousness through love and compassion, mercy and forgiveness, empathy and sympathy. The heart chakra bridges the gap between the physical and the divine nature of human beings, okay? So it unites the flesh with spirit, bringing heaven on earth, okay? So the mantra for the heart chakra is yam. And the symbol is a lotus flower with 12 petals. You can see it better on my chakra shawl, which is right here behind me. Let me get it. Okay. So, here is the symbol for the Anhata, the heart chakra. The symbol is a lotus flower with 12 petals. See these petals? Okay. It symbolizes 12 divine qualities of the heart. Love, bliss, harmony, understanding, compassion, forgiveness, peace, clarity, empathy, 
purity, compassion, and forgiveness. There is a six-pointed star in the center of the circle. As you know, the circle is symbol for the ether, the substance of space, um, uh, full consciousness, circle the universe, never expanding universe, ever expanding universe. Anyway, there is a six-pointed star in the center. It's actually two triangles, one pointing up and the other pointing down, intersecting each other at the center. Okay. The Star of David, yeah? The shield of King David of the Bible. It symbolizes as above, so below. Okay. And here again, we see the opposite directions like the two fish in the Pisces symbol. The contrasting duality of nature, the feminine and masculine energy of human beings. I believe the one pointing up is the masculine energy and the one pointing down is the feminine energy of human beings. And then there is also a tetrahedron in the center of the six-pointed star. This star tetrahedron symbolizes union and transformation. It's actually a Merkaba. This symbol here is called a Merkaba, two counter-rotating tetrahedron. Okay. Let me show you a model I created of a tetrahedron. Here it is. See, I was trying to show magnificence of 369. That's why the numbers are there, but um, those numbers don't go with what I'm talking about right now. Anyway, a tetrahedron is a pyramid with four triangular sides. You see, it's a pyramid, right? has a triangular base and it's got three triangular sides okay it's also called a fire tetrahedron because to start a fire you need four things fuel fire oxygen and a chemical reaction Okay, it was very interesting the way I created this because I started out with a equilateral triangle bigger than this, of course, because what I did was I folded the corners to make the sides. And that's how you make a tetrahedron from one equilateral triangle. You start off with three sides, then six, then nine. Okay, that's how you make it. But anyway, put another way to be on fire for the Lord. You need the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the believer. Yes, that's how you start a fire. So in the, um, the symbol again, the upward tetrahedron points up to fire and air, while the downward tetrahedron points down to water and earth. So there we have the four elements. Although the heart is associated with the air element, it has all four here. So again, two polarities that are one, okay? Fire and air, earth and water. So activate your heart chakra today in your meditation. Find a quiet space where you won't be disturbed and close your eyes. Just close your eyes wherever you are. Relax your body by breathing slowly and deeply, being conscious of your stomach and chest, rising as you inhale and falling as you exhale. At the exhale, you can chant the mantra for the heart chakra. Yum. Mm. 
Yum. It helps you get into the space between your thoughts, you know, where you, there is no sense of self, just in a just state of being, you know. So visualize the color green radiating from your heart chakra outward toward infinity around you, around the earth. Imagine the core of your being as a beam of golden white light extending down to the base of your spine through the earth and up through your crown to the center of the galaxy. Be still and silent and listen to the sound of life within you and without you. Chant the mantra for all seven chakras. Lam vam ram yam ham sham aum. You can keep doing that several times until you feel good. And then say a prayer of thanks with a grateful heart. Become love and believe that you are love. Okay? That's all I have for you today. Once again, I honor God in you and me. Namaste.